This video is about horizontal and vertical lines. So what is a horizontal line? It's a line that goes to the y-axis something like this. It would be a horizontal line. And a vertical go a vertical line sorry, goes through a point on the x-axis. So that would be an example of a vertical line. So let's look at some properties of horizontal and vertical. So with horizontal lines, what that means is you have y equal to some constant c. So where c is a constant. So for example, if I have y equals 5 and I wanted to graph that line, The line is going to go through the y-axis at 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. You know, what is the slope of a horizontal line? Well, if you pick any two points on the line and plug it into the slope formula that we've seen before, we can calculate the slope. So let's pick a point here. Let's say it's a point negative 2, 5. And let's pick a point over here, let's say it's 3, 5. So I'm going to plug that into my slope formula. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So there I can see that I'll get 0 over 3 minus negative 2 is 5, but I have 0 divided by numbers, so my slope is just 0. And actually, the slope of any horizontal line will be 0. So now let's look at vertical lines. So a vertical line is when you have x equal to some constant. So where c is a constant. So for example, let's say we have x equals negative 4. So if I were to draw that, it's going to be a vertical line going through the point x equals negative 4. So negative 1, 2, 3, negative 4. So it would look like this. Okay, and let's calculate what would be the slope of a vertical line. So again, I can pick any two points on the line that I want and calculate the slope. So let's say I pick this point here, so negative 4, 1. And let's pick this point right on the axis, so negative 4, and the y value would be 0 there. So I can plug those two points into my slope formula to calculate slope. So I have the change in my x, or my y, sorry, so 0 minus 1 over the change in my x's, so negative 4 minus negative 4. So on the top, I'll have negative 1 divided by negative 4 minus 4. So those turn into plus, so I get a zero on the bottom, which is a problem. You can never divide by zero. So what that means is the slope for a vertical line is undefined. And that is the case for any vertical line. Okay, so that's an important property to remember. And that's it. Thanks for watching.